Hey everybody, welcome to my walkthrough of the advanced battery controller with surge protection. Um, just going to give a quick demonstration of how this works. Uh, you have your terminal based battery controller here and you can activate the terminal and you can type out list for a list of available commands. You can type out help to give you like a more detailed description of each command. And uh, so the first thing I'll start off is talking about the surge protect. The surge protection will actually enable the batteries to the rest of the system uh, when power is needed and the reactor needs to catch up. And then when there's too much power in the system and over voltage occurs, the relay will turn off automatically and the battery recharge rate will be set depending on the actual uh, difference of power between the reactor load and power. Um, therefore absorbing all of that extra energy and kind of fast recharging the batteries. Um, this two screens at the bottom kind of give you some details of what's going on in the background. The left side shows you reactor controls uh, or reactor statistics. You have the power, the load, the delta power, which is that number I was talking about, the difference between power and load, um, whether or not the array is on or off, and this current mode that the system is in, which right now it's in surge protect. So since the delta power is zero, that means that the power for the reactor and the load of the reactor is at 1040, which is evened out. If I were to like uh, max engines, you'll see that this delta power drops down uh, well into the negatives um, as the power in the reactor tries to catch up. While that's on, uh, while that's happening, the array is on to provide power instantly to the system. And then as soon as this delta power hits uh, below the balance number, which you can customize um, it will kind of bounce back and forth a little bit and you can see the batteries here kind of uh, taking in that power. Um, and then they default idle charge at 20% until the battery's charge rate is at 50%. The right side of the screen, uh, like terminal or little window down here, shows you battery statistics for charge condition and uh, charge rate. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be at 48%. Once it gets to 50%, this will cut down to zero, and the batteries will idle at 50%. Um, if I were to uh, kill all speed right now, you'll see the array turns off. There's a huge like bump to the delta power, and the batteries will now charge a bit higher based on that number and absorb that extra power. They, they will go well over 50%. They'll go to whatever is needed to get rid of that extra power. Um, it's just the idle charge that stops at 50%. So as these wean down, there's like no damage to the surge. The numbers are balanced out. And that's pretty much it. That's the main system there. Um, this thing also has other features. So I can say uh, charge to uh, 75. This will disable the surge protection and actually charge the batteries um, to 75%, but they'll use like a throttle system. So the number will actually decrease on the charge rate as the um, it gets closer to the desired level. That way there's no over voltage when the batteries are done charging. Um, you can even like kind of overwrite this and you can say charge at, uh, I don't know, like 80. Um, this will set the charge rate to 80%. Um, and disable all, all other systems and uh, you know this is a risky thing to do because if it's too high of a number and then you hit max charge on the batteries you'll have an over voltage issue um, you can also turn on and off the array with array 1 to turn on array 0 to turn off this will also disable surge protection if enabled um, and then you can provide this battery uh, output to the rest of the sub and that you'll see that array is on down here um, what else is here? Uh, let's see, charge at, charge, you can do charge full is the last thing you can do. And that will automatically charge the batteries to 100% using that throttle charge system. Um, if you want to have full batteries, um, I recommend keeping batteries around 50%. Just because if you do have an over voltage, that power needs to go somewhere. I'll back out here and show you the inner workings and what you actually see when you get this with a workshop file. So this is our test environment here and what it kind of looks like if you place everything. Uh, all the wires in, are hidden and the components are behind the wall here. It's a lot. If you go over here, this is what the item assembly looks like. It's the same thing that's right here. So wires will be hidden. 
um, components will be uh, visible, but you can hide those or hide, you know, put them behind something. Um, I have some labels here. It says like this junction box connects to the rest of your network. Um, it comes with a reactor just because, you know, it may be easier for people. Uh, just like a little fuel rod right here. Um, and uh, yeah, so let me go into the details of this. It's a bit much, but so you have your terminal here and these are all the terminal controller. Uh, let me disable structures here. Once the terminal is inputted, uh, regex will decide which, which input was uh, entered and then control the different systems. So the blue here is your surge protect system. The purple here is the auto charge system. Um, and these two grays control the charge rates and the relay or the array for the batteries, depending on which system is enabled. Um, and then all these uh, are like text displays here that come from different things, the battery conditions, um, the reactor and so on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have some like notes about how to use here, which is what I just kind of talked about. And I try to break down everything with numbers and like what each step does the best I could. Cause I know like looking at this stuff can sometimes be a bit daunting and I hope people can learn from this. So, um, that's about it. Let me know what you think and, uh, hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestions or comments, uh, let me know. I appreciate it. Thanks.